Just a couple announcements while the show kicks off this morning. There is food available this morning. There's donuts, blueberry muffins, coffee, um, and there's also some lunch options, including walking tacos, hot dogs, cookies, soda, and water available. We'll go ahead and five for the mic first thing in the morning. Well, obviously a little brisker than it, it uh, is up here than it was down at my place this morning, but what a good way to start. And, and, and I tell you, I, I always kind of joke around, but the one thing I, I least like to judge is, is showmanship because I think like out here when we've got six individuals doing this good a job and then I get about seven to eight minutes to try to select which you know, which one of these kids that, that I think are doing the best at the time. And I think what's so remarkable is, is as cool as it is, as hot as it's been, and then you get cattle and kids to come in and act this good in, in, in this particular ring is awful, awful enjoyable to see. But I, I tell you, one, one of the big keys that I, I really look for is just, and my kids are 17 now, and I got a girl that can win showmanship at all national levels, and I got a boy that can't show a movie. So it's kind of fu it's op it's funny how the opposite ends of the ex ex uh, opposite ends of the spectrum are. But I think there's two uh, individuals out here that kind of elevated themselves a little bit in my mind. And you know, the biggest thing I like to see is not a lot of stick use in terms of moving the feet and, and what have you to naturally let those cattle walk into it and, and not so much the hunt and peck with the show sticks. But once again, I, I think these kids did a fantastic job. Let's go ahead and give them a nice, I didn't line them up in any particular order. I just kind of pulled them in as I, I saw fit, but they're, they're not in any particular order at all. But let's go ahead and give them a nice round of applause for doing a great job early this morning. All showmanship winners do need to go to the backdrop for a picture. Your champion senior showman goes to Kelsey Cooney and your reserve goes to Morgan Vondra. Don't forget, if you head to that food stand, WSA raffle tickets are for sale with $10 each. The drawing is going to be December 1st, and the prizes include the 150th anniversary Shorthorn print by C.J. Brown and the Shorthorn history book. Also note that Kegley's are leaving after the junior show concludes, so please get everything you need before the end of the junior show. Now entering the ring is Intermediate Showmanship.
we're going to take some time to recognize the 2023 sponsors. Your gold buckle sponsors include Bad Water Cattle Company, Bright Lights Show Cattle, C4 Show Cattle, Door Creek Shorthorns, Dreamy 280 Cattle Co., Lehman Cattle Company, Miller Farms, Valley Beef Association, and Orbaugh Family Shorthorns.
Courtney Orr with Beautiful Moments Photography is the photographer today, for today. And you can find the pictures at her website, beautifulmomentsphotography.smugmug.com. Thank you, Courtney. Well, once again, when you get a set of kids out here that, that are doing as good a job, I, I, once again, I didn't line them up in any particular order. But, you know, the, the thing is, we all come to preview shows to kind of get these things broke and, and get things figured out. Obviously, we've got some kids out here that are pretty sharp that have got some cattle that maybe aren't handling to the best of, of their ability, but that's why we do this. We've got a, a May heifer at home that we've had to bring out three or four times just to get her to where she doesn't blow up in the ring. So I, I know, I understand that's part of the reason why we do this is to get these cattle broke for later in the year. But I, I think there's a couple of kids out here that are that maybe once again there's probably three or four that are set themselves apart a little bit. I'll go pick the two that kind of hit me the hardest today. But once again, let's give these. Uh, Intermediate kids, a nice round of applause. Your champion intermediate showman goes to Anna Hibiki, and your reserve goes to Abby Giddings. Congratulations. Please head to the backdrop for a picture. Now entering the ring is junior showmanship. We'll also take this time to recognize some more of those 2023 sponsors. The Shorthorn Stockman sponsors include Bischel Family Cattle, Bleeding Hearts Cattle, Country K Shorthorns, Just a Mere Farm, Knollswood Shorthorns, Oakwood Farms, Olson Family Shorthorns, Sandview Farm, Signature Farms, White Oak Beef, DNA Farms, and Images Embroidery. Thank you to those who contributed to the State Shorthorn Show this year.
Our judge today for the junior show is Chuck Lemonager from Fairbury, Illinois. He works for Early Bird Feeds and studied at Western Illinois University. He operates a Semental operation with his wife, Tori, and children, Grace and Curtis. Let's give a big warm welcome for Chuck this morning. You know, sometimes when showing cattle is, is you try to get one that maybe isn't acting the best to look the best she possibly can. And I think we've got one kid out here that's that's certainly getting that done. But with that being said, I, I will tell you, it I don't, for you guys that, that aren't winning these, these competitions or particularly showmanships, what I always encourage my kids to do is watch those people that are beating you and understand what they're doing, whether it's their ring presence or how they're walking their cattle into it. I mean, 
we had a, a very, very good friend of ours that, that uh, when we started selling him cattle, you know, the one thing that he would always do is go and watch them classes before them or watch the, the – basically he would go and, and, and watch everything those people that were beating him at every show. He would simply sit back and go to shows, not bring cattle, and watch them people and see what they were doing. And whether it's – how those ki those kids were leading those cattle in the ring to what kind of halters they were using to what they were feeding. So, I'd all I I guess I, what I'm trying to say in a nutshell is don't get discouraged. And th it, this is just like playing basketball or, or or football or softball. The only way you get better is is by doing it more. And that's the one thing is. So my boy got discouraged because his sister always won and it was hard for him to keep fired up to doing it. And it, I will tell you, that's part of the reason why he's 17 and he's not any better than he is. So, he, I mean, he does a nice job, but we'll uh, keep rolling through this. Uh, but I think there's two individuals out here doing an awful, awful good job. But once again, let's give these kids a nice round of applause and we'll keep it rolling. Your champion junior showman goes to Braxton Bulky and your reserve to Julia Brown. Congratulations. Now entering the ring will be your beginner showmanship. Anyone who's hungry ringside, there is breakfast available at the food stand, including blueberry muffins, donuts, coffee, soda, and water. And there's also some lunch options, including walking tacos and hot dogs.
maybe not the numbers we had in uh, some of the other divisions, but you know, I got asked him just a couple questions each kid because obviously we got a little more time here. But once again, I, I think you know a lot of the time showmanship is one at home too, and and that's one of the things that you can kind of tell. Not so much in this particular division, but just. You, you know, that's one thing if I can get, you know, we always try to keep them cattle tied up for at least six hours a day with their heads moderately highly tied up. And, and, and I think to me, it, asking those cattle to come to a show and, and, and basically run a marathon, what we're asking them to do today, it makes it a little more difficult. And then, and then these cattle, you know, you can kind of see which ones are, are a little bit more well behaved than others. So once again, though, I, I think the kids did an awesome job. Let's give one of this uh, second to last division a nice round and we'll keep her rolling. Your champion beginner showman goes to Ty Mulhaney and your reserve to Gianna Bischel. Congratulations. Now entering the ring is your novice showmanship. Don't forget to get your WSA raffle tickets being sold at the concession stand. Tickets are $10 each and the drawing is on December 1st. The prizes include the 150th anniversary shorthorn print by C.J. Brown and the shorthorn history book. Also an important note, Kegley's will be leaving after the conclusion of the junior show. Please get everything you need before the end of that. Your photographer today is Courtney Orr with Beautiful Moments Photography. Her photos are available at her website, beautifulmomentsphotography.smugmug.com.
Well, there is not anything a lot more fun than watching a little kid fight with a 1,200-pound steer and get along okay. But I, I do think there is some kids out here that, have, that are doing a really, really exceptional job. I think the young man, I was giving him a hard time at the end when he came in. I said, well, you look like you're like 13 or 14. You're way bigger than the rest of these kids out here. But I tell you, the way his demeanor for a young man and the way that he conducts himself and poses himself, and, and, and you can tell he's a little above the bar here in this particular drive. Young man does a great job. I, I You know, it's so important for these young kids to be able to walk them cattle into it. And once again, we're fighting the weather a little bit today, being 30 degrees cooler than yesterday. And like the blue roan heifer, you can tell that girl knows, but that young man's always got that heifer set with her feet right. He just naturally walks her into it. He'll be your champion showman out of this particular division. Then I think it gets pretty close. The young lady down on the end, though, to me, she's always got that hind leg set back a little farther like I like to see. I think, you know, too, she got a little frustrated here for a minute, but once she got her composure and pulled back together, she got it. she's always got that heifer set pretty right. A little stretched right now, but... It's still got the fundamental and the basics right. She'll be your reserve. But let's give these four kids a really, really big, nice round of applause. Doing a nice job. Your champion, novice showman, goes to Hank Pfaff. And your reserve to Sadie Brown. Congratulations. That concludes showmanship for today. But before we kick off the junior show, we'd like to take the time to recognize our junior show judge, Chuck Lemonager. He's originally from Fairbury, Illinois, and he works for Early Bird Feeds and studied at Western Illinois University. He operates a cemental operation with his wife, Tori, and children, Grace and Curtis. Let's give him a warm welcome on this cold Wisconsin day. We'd like to thank the 2023 sponsors. Your gold buckle sponsors include Badwater Cattle Company, Bright Lights Show Cattle, C4 Cattle, Door Creek Shorthorns, Dreamy 280 Cattle Company, Lehman Cattle Company, Miller Farms, Orbaugh Family Shorthorns, and Valley Beef Association.
Now in the ring is the Shorthorn Steer Division. There's only one class, ranging from weights of 1,100 pounds to 1,350 pounds. Well, when you leave home and you do a preview show, you kind of hope there's ones like this that, that show up. And I just love this steer just in terms of his sheer balance standpoint. I, You know, without a doubt, I think when in relation to his frame, he's probably got as much true natural muscle shape and dimension, particularly through that lower portion of his quarter as any of these steers out here. You know, to me, maybe if you wanted to be ultra critical on him, you could call him a nickel shorter body. But... And kind of the way we're picking these cattle today, I, I think that adds in his balance. I think if you lengthen him out a little bit more, it's going to make him look a little shallower bodied. And, and I, to me, I, I think that one's just awful, awful good. So good in his lines, straight back, you know, straight big backed. And, and yet you get behind him and he sure meets your eye with enough hip and, and stifle. Yet he's still laid in good enough about his shoulder. Ties in so good up the out of the top side of his shoulder into his neck. Just a really, really good show steer here to go ahead. And, you know, and, and the thing is, too, what's nice about him, you look at him in terms of just a practicality standpoint, 
guy has a lot full of those and he's going to do okay. That's, that's just awful, awful good cattle. The young lady with the roan steer that comes out next, kind of grant back to him. You know, you certainly like that steer for his little bit added length of body and, and performance. But to me, you get right behind that calf and analyze him through the, the, his quick and twist. That calf isn't doesn't quite rival that class winner. He gets a little bit piecier out through that lower that rear one third. You just like to maybe power him up. Now, without a doubt, I think with when compared to that class winner, he's a nickel greener. I think you bring him home, kind of turn up the energy on him. He'll match that one in terms of muscle later on in terms of where he's at in his maturity. I just like to see him, like I said, just a notch thicker when you get right behind him. He's a good balanced one, though. He's good in his lines. He's good on his feet and legs. Good neck steer. Nice calf here to go in second. The problem one for me is the one in third. Young lady does a fantastic job showing him. But you can see right here from this angle, that three-quarter shot, he gets extremely flat in terms of his stifle. But I think when you look at him pass there, he rivals those class winners. He's a big back calf that's extremely smooth down that top and, and yet to me balances up of the best of his contemporaries left in the class. I just to get him to go any higher, I just like to power him up right when you get behind. Then you've got kind of the EST steer here in fourth. And he's obviously the, the biggest back and in, in, in the you know the, the probably the most expressive in terms of his muscle. But I think when you compare him to the, the, the rest of the class, he's obviously a little bit heavier in terms of his weight, but I just like to see him balance up a little bit better. He gets a little, probably the deepest part of his body is his chest floor. He runs up a little bit in terms of his flank, and I'd like to just square and true him up a little bit out of his hind leg. I think he's good cattle. I just think he gets a little bit unproportional in terms of his side view profile and just like to balance him up ever so slightly. Then I think you've got one it's a preview show you just bring him home and feed him i think he's one you can tell he's probably a nickel greener than the, the rest of these cattle out here i'd like to maybe square him up a little bit from his hooks to his pins this calf just needs more time he's go, he's good on his feet and legs you know he's relatively sound i just like to see him with a little more condition on him to go any higher up in the class but a good set of steers here from top to bottom Your champion pre-red short horn steer goes to Bailey Abney. Your reserve to Taylor Belfield. Third place in that class was Kelsey Cooney. Fourth place, Carly Pfaff. And fifth place, Grace Schmittenfranz. Your champion bred and owned short horn steer goes to Kelsey Cooney. Now entering the ring is short horn plus steers.
Helping pass out awards today are the Shorthorn Lassies and Princesses. Our 2023 Lassie Princesses are Haley Thompson, Courtney Rathy, Rathke, and Anna Hibiki. Our 2023 Lassie Queen is Caitlin Olson. Calf misses his mommy. <laughs> Good black steer here, though, to go ahead and start with. And, and I like him in, in a lot of different ways. I think, you know, he's one that when, when he gets into motion for as long as he is, he keeps himself composed in terms of his top line. He's good in terms of his bone work. Sure, as he had advanced as a, in his degree, condition is maybe that purebred steer that we saw. No, he's a little bit greener in terms of his makeup. But I, once again, I think he's one you, you kind of go home and turn the afterburners on and come state fair time, and he'll be a lot, lot to handle. I think it gets a little bit closer in terms of your second and third and reserve division or reserve because I, there's some give and take here. I, I, I think the the added muscle expression and balance that this calf gives you from the side is is what allows him to, to do that. I think when you read him, he's a bigger back steer when in relation to his frame, and yet you get right behind him, and he's got a lot more pin width, and yet sets down with a lot more base width when he goes away. Now, I will admit that that steer that rounds out the class, he's a long-bodied steer that's extremely, extremely good at the ground, and I like that about him. But you can see he gets a little bit plainer about his head and neck, and, and, and to me gets a little bit uh, harsher in terms of his condition. I think obviously we got three steers, just three totally different types, and get another guy in here, they might line him up a little different, but that's the way I see him today. But let's give this uh, particular steer division a nice round of applause for bringing you a good set of steers. Your champion Shorthorn Plus steer goes to Haley Thompson. Your reserve also goes to Haley Thompson. And third place goes to Jocelyn Edmonds. Now entering the ring is your first class of Shorthorn Heifers. These are senior heifer calves born from September 1st to October 31st of 2022.
Just a couple of announcements. Don't forget to get your WSA raffle tickets available in the concession stand. Tickets are $10 each and the drawing will be December 1st. The raffle prizes include the 150th anniversary Shorthorn print by C.J. Brown and the Shorthorn history book. Also, don't forget, Kegley's will be leaving at the conclusion of the junior show. Please get everything you need before the start of the open show. little bit of contrasting types here in these particular two and, and obviously we've got a November and a September so but I, I think within saying that I think they're totally opposite ends of the spectrum in terms of where they fall in terms of cow maturity and, and where they fall or where, where they're going to be as, as mature cows. I think that what ex, the red heifer excels in my mind is in terms of longevity. She, to me when you read that one she reads a lot softer out of her hind leg she get, kind of gives and flexes and reaches with a little more authority and, and, and ease and comfort. I think when she really gets out and relaxes and goes, she stays a little bit square and truer from hock to ground and, and, and yet gives you a little bit more of a longevity appearance as well. I think too, she, she's a little more uniform in terms of her depth from fore to rear. I, I don't, obviously the, the, the big heifer in two is, is deeper sided. I think a little bit of that's optical though in, in, in a tremendously good fill, but I just like a lot of lot more things about that red heifer in terms of being a nickel more moderate in terms of her frame and yet still being pretty enough from the, the side. Just a good well-balanced heifer. Now, not taking anything away from the big heifer here in two because I think from her, her, her front two-thirds, she smokes the class by, by, a, by a landslide, but to me, when just so good neck, I love the way that one ties out of the top side of her shoulder. She's got a notch more muscle, total muscle volume. But to me, when you ask that heifer to get out and go, she gets a nickel straighter in terms of her hock. When you watch her walk from behind, she's not bow-legged, but she's out there. I mean, she gets a nickel wide walking for me in terms of just, I, get, I guess I get a little worried about her bringing, coming back as a senior girl and being a nickel straight. But... I could be wrong as well, but to me, that's the way I read those two. I like the added just structure of that class winner to go ahead and lead the class. Your Division One champion goes to Julia Brown, reserved to Caitlin Olson. Next in the ring is the Summer Yearling Females, born on June 1st to August 31st of 2022.
Nice, uh, really good pair of uh, June, July heifers here. And I think you guys can hopefully see what I see in these two. And, and I, to me, the roan heifer just reads as being a little bit more complete. I think she's a little bit better in terms of her line. She's square in terms of her hip, yet she doesn't run downhill. Is she as stout and as powerful as the heifer right behind her? No, but I think with with that added femininity that she possesses up through her front end and, and being a nickel smoother about that shoulder, she holds herself together a little bit better in terms of motion. She stays within her in terms of her skeleton when she asked, you ask her to get out and go. She tracks a little bit square and truer from behind. You know to me, I love that extension femininity. I love the other thing is, I think to me, is she as stout and as powerful in terms of her muscle as well? No, but I think part of that's due to where she's at in terms of her degree of condition. She's a nickel trimmer up through that brisket and up through that front end. But I, and to me, I think you can see it right there. Just balances up a nickel better in terms of that top line, a little square and truer in terms of motion. Without a doubt, the, the, the power heifer's the one and two, and you can see a lot stouter in terms of hock to ground, and when you get right behind her, she reads with a nickel more shape. To me, I just like to see that heifer level out behind her shoulder and get a little better in her heart. You can see it, she does have a nickel more shoulder, but being a little bit tighter hearted, it kind of exemplifies that in terms of her in terms of her coarseness of shoulder a little bit. And I just like to see her balance up a little bit better there. Moreover, when she gets into motion, she gets just a nickel outside of herself in motion. Two really good heifers, a little bit more power here, but just like the added balance of that class winner. Jacob Bergman was your winner out of class four. In second place goes to Morgan Vondra. Now entering the ring as class five, late spring yearling females, born from May 1st to May 31st of 2022.
I just, in my opinion, I think when you got four that good, you better kind of at least take your time and make sure you get it right. And and obviously, I think there's some differences you can you can sure talk in these cattle. Not a lot in this top two because I think if you were in a judging room, you'd be lying. But to me, I think t the heifer that I chose to start out with, is she the best in her chest? No, she's not. But to me, I think when you look at that one and just in terms of a sheer balance standpoint, I think when you look at her in terms of her uh, balance depth of body from four rib to flank and yet... To me, you ask that one to get out and go. She she re extremely sound on the move. She just balances up so so well. And and to me, I think, you know, when in relation to the class, I think she's got more than ample en enough bone, and that's what to me maybe sets her apart in this particular drive with with the added depth of body that she has. Now, when you get right behind her, she reads a little bit flatter that that in terms of her rib shape. I don't know if that's just a bad fill that, that they've got on her today or that that's just the way she is. But to me, I think she's she's more amp, got more than enough rib shape for me today when you get right behind her. Now, I, I just, like I said, just that one balances up so well on the move. Just a really, really nice place to start. I think after that, I, I like this heifer that comes in too. And, and I'll be quite honest with you guys. With that color pattern that she has, she's a little hard to read at first. I think that that not you look at a solid red one and then bounce to that that color pattern that she's got. That one's extremely good looking though, and the heifer ties so well out of the top side of her shoulder. She's extremely sound to me. When you read that one though, the deepest part of her body now she doesn't have a lot of like she's not like she's fat chested, but. I, that's one I think you go home and pour the oats to in, in the filler, and that one will get that class winner maybe by this fall. I don't know though. I she she's a little higher in terms of her flank, and to me that's what that that's what gets her into that second hole. If she was a little softer back there, I think that one that one handles that class winner today. But I just like to see her from her navel back give you a shot more depth and dimension. Two really, really good ones there, though, that I like quite, quite well. The problem heifers for me come in three and four because this is probably, in my mind, the greenest heifer in the class. And, and But with that being said, with that greenness, I love her, her freshness and her look. To me, from her hock down, she gets a nickel, nick, nickel frail. And you're like, well, you know, she is a female, but, but generally bone is a direct correlation to muscle and that's what lands her in third. She just needs to have a shot more power to me to go any higher today. I mean, I'm one of them guys that can't generally afford to, to, to reverse sort, so I got to try to sell some bulls, and, and I need them to be a nickel stouter than she is. And I love her, though, in terms of her look and her pattern and her, and her, her tremendously good line. I just like to see a little bit more of that heifer. And then, obviously, you've got the opposite end of the extreme here in fourth. I love the moderation of frame and the power and the dimension that this heifer has, but once again with that, I think she's probably the highest conditioned heifer within the class. Now, is she fat? No, but I think to me, when you read that one standing, she stands a nickel wider out of her front than she does in the rear. And to me, I just like to give her a shot more femininity up through that front end. But young lady, you've got a tremendous cow prospect there. I think you're mating away from having one that'll be extremely, extremely competitive because she's good cattle. Obviously the most ideal in terms of a rib shape of any of the cattle in the class, but I just like to give her a shot more look when you, when you view her from the side. The young man coming, coming next, probably a little bit more of one that you can kind of tell was bred to be maybe a steer. I love her in terms of her muscle pattern. You get right behind her and she's easily the, the wide pinned, heavy muscled heifer of the drive. But to me, she just doesn't hook it all together quite right. I'd like to see her transition a little bit better into her shoulder, into her forerib. And moreover, I, I just like to soften her up a little bit in terms of her flank and, and maybe strengthen her and her loin ever so slightly. But a long necked one, that I think for as much hip and power as she's got, still maintain some femininity up through that front end. Probably the sound structured one of the drive is the one that rounds out the class. I love her in terms of when she's in motion, 
but you can kind of see she kind of falters off and tapers from her hooks to her pins. She, you know, you just like to square her up a little bit there and give her a shot more bone as well. But good set of cattle here all the way through. Let's give those exhibitors a nice round of applause. First place out of Class 5 goes to Caitlin Olson. Second place to Kennedy Cohen. Third place to Kylie Stelzer. Fourth place to Sadie Brown. Fifth place to Morgan Eng. And sixth place to Abigail Dorn. Now entering the ring is Division 2. Maybe a few more numbers in this particular division that we had seen, in, you know, uh, earlier. But, you know, the, and, and trust me, we show plenty of young heifers because that's what we could afford this year. We got a bunch of Mays and Junes and Julys, it seems like. But I'll tell you, I think the Junes and the, the, the June division or June class was really good. But I love those cattle in terms of where they're at and their condition and their freshness. I think the added maturity, though, and power and, and, and performance of the, the, that next class, I'm going to go ahead and keep the, the, the young lady in the two-hole and the young lady in the four-hole. I'm going to keep them two together. I think that was an awful good class, awful good division, though. Let's give these exhibitors a nice round of applause. Your Division Two champion is Caitlin Olson, and reserve is Kennedy Cohen. Congratulations. Now entering the ring is Class 6, Early Spring Yearling Females. Birth dates range from April 1st to April 30th of 2022. Anyone hungry ringside, there is concessions available. They're offering walking tacos, hot dogs, blueberry muffins, donuts, cookies, coffee, soda, and water. And don't forget to purchase your WSA raffle tickets at the food stand. Tickets are $10, and the drawing will be December 1st. The prizes include the 150th anniversary shorthorn print by C.J. Brown and the shorthorn history book. Also, just a reminder, Kegley's will be leaving after the junior show. Please get everything you need before the end of the junior show.
Once again, we'd like to thank our judge for today. The junior show judge is Chuck Lemonager from Fairbury, Illinois. He works for Early Bird Feeds and studied at Western Illinois University. He owns and operates a cemental operation with his wife, Tori, and children, Grace and Curtis. Let's go ahead and give him a warm welcome. This would be a really good judging class, I think, if we were get in a collegiate contest. But to me, I think you've got a pretty logical class winner in my mind. I, there's a lot of good in this one. I, I love her in terms of just that sheer balance in terms of structure, and yet Heifer's extremely deep and, and, and just flawless in terms of her build. You know, too, she's, I, once again, for as much muscle as she's got, she's still extremely feminine about that head and neck. Just really, really nice heifer here to, to go ahead and start with. And then obviously you've got absolutely as contrasting types in two and three as you can have. And to me, I'll, I'll be honest with you, it, when you look at these and, and when it gets close, and, and to me, I, I just think this red heifer, solid red heifer is going to be an easier yeah. keeping cow. I think without a doubt she's more moderate yeah. almost to me in terms of her moderation. She's almost too moderate. But yet, with that being said, I love her in terms of a rib shape. I think when you ask these two cattle to go out and convert feed, I just think this heifer in, in seconds is going to be an easier keeping cow. Now, there is more talking points in ESTs in the heifer in two, but I, I or heifer in three. But I, like I said, I just like the added potential flushing ability of that heifer in two to go ahead and slide into that hole. Without a doubt, the heifer that comes in thirds, the the EST heifer, the class. She's the longest body, the most extended up through her front end. But guys, to me, I, she's just a little bit elevated in her kind for me. I don't think she's old. I don't think she's anything like that. To me, she's just a nickel big. And when they're that big, I'll take, if you could combine them two, I think you rival the class winner. i just like to see her softer through that lower one-third. Gets a little bit harder in terms of her rib shape. Just like, I, but she's sound, she's good looking, just like to see her softer. The young lady rounds out the class once again. Got a sound built one. Heifer's extreme, got some length of body. Her too, though, when you compare to them, the, the ones right above her, just needs to be a nickel stouter from hock to ground to go any higher today. First place out of class six goes to Tyler Vondra. Second place to Kelsey Cooney. Third place to Leighton Sabaski. And fourth place to Leah Edmondson. Now entering the ring is class seven. Late spring yearling females. Birthdays range from March 1st to March 31st of 2022. We're going to take this time to go ahead and thank some of the 2023 sponsors. Your gold buckle sponsors include Badwater Cattle Company, Bright Lights Show Cattle, C4 Show Cattle, Door Creek Shorthorns, Dreamy 280 Cattle Company, Lehman Cattle Company, Miller Farms, 
Orvaugh Family Shorthorns, and Valley Beef Association. Your Shorthorn Stockman sponsors include Bischel Family Cattle, Bleeding Hearts Cattle, Country K Shorthorns, Just a Mere Farm, Knowleswood Shorthorns, Oakwood Farms, Olson Family Shorthorns, Sandview Farm, Signature Farm, and White Oak Beef. Let's go ahead and give them all a big round of applause. Helping pass out our awards today are the Shorthorn Lassie Princesses. Our 2023 Lassie Princesses are Haley Thompson, Courtney Rathke, Anna Hibiki, and the 2023 Lassie Queen is Caitlin Olson. Courtney Orr is our photographer today with Beautiful Moments Photography. You can find these images at beautifulmomentsphotography.smugmug.com. Thank you, Courtney.
obviously a, a top pair of heifers here that are a little different, just a little different in terms of where they're at, and I think in their maturity and and what have you. And, and I think what sets it apart, you know, I, I'll be honest with you, if this heifer in first moves just a little bit better in terms of her pasture and it's game, set, match, but i just like to see her a little bit softer right there. But I'm telling you what, past that, that one's pretty spot on. I, You know, she's not skinny by any means, but I, I love the condition she's in in terms of, I think, where we're at today. I, just so good in terms of her rib shape. And, and I think where she sets herself apart is in her hip. I think when you analyze that heifer from her hooks to her pins, she's so dead level out through her hip, and, and yet – you know, just gives you a tremendous, tremendously good, well-balanced look from the side. Really nice heifer to hear to start the class. Now, the heifer that comes in second, boy, is there a lot of things to like about. I mean, just ungodly long-bodied. I mean, almost looks like she's got an extra rib in her. But you can see that, and we fight it a lot with the relentlesses and the Semitol thing. That Being that long a bodied almost works to her disadvantage. And I think She'll be a little bit of a challenge to manage from here on out because you almost got to let that calf inside her catch up and pull her flank down because that's where she falls out of balance compared to that class winner. When you look at that one from her navel back compared to that class winner, she runs uphill ever so slightly. But, I mean, God, I love her bone. I love her length of body. Moreover, I think she's probably a nickel wider from right behind when you get behind her. Do I think it, it, it's it's a, enough to kind of surpass that class winner? No. I think she just needs to be a little bit balanced in terms of her crest of her neck and her chest floor to go any higher in this particular class. The young lady that comes out next, she gets a little outpowered in this class. And, and I, I, you know, the, the, this is one of those classes where you look at, it sure be fun to see these cattle about Louisville time. And you can tell this heifer's a little later maturing in her head and the way that she's constructed from end to end. I love this heifer, though. Probably, honestly, when in relation to the two right above her, she gets out and goes with as much authority as either one of them, too. Now, when she gets stopped and planted, she gets a little more bow-legged in terms of her set to her hock. If you could square that one, I kind of gave the young lady not a hard time, but just a suggestion and showmanship she needs to have that leg back a little bit farther to balance that up. That's a little bit just the way that heifer's made as she comes back out here in the cha in the in this class. I think those are three really elite ones, though. Be anxious to see how this one in third matures. The young man coming next. I like this one in terms of on the stand. I think this one balances up extremely well. Somewhat resembles our class winner in terms of the way that 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 silhouette that she gives you. When you ask that one to go, though, she gets a little bit straighter in terms of her hock. Doesn't maybe reach with as much authority of those those ones right above her. She's good cattle, though, and I, I love her extension up through that front end. She'll be one I think you just pour the fiber to and, and hope for the best this fall because I think that one's got a bright future, just maybe not enough of her as well to go any higher today. The young lady that comes next, probably once again, one is extremely agile at the ground. I love that given flex to her hock and pasture. I'll be honest with you guys, she reads a little bit heavier condition for me today. She gets a little bit wasty in her chest and, and kind of runs up uphill a little bit in her flank as well. But you can see, young lady does a great job showing her. She's long bodied, she's level designed. I just maybe like to elevate her a little bit and freshen her up in her condition ever so slightly. The young lady that rounds out the class, once again, a long feminine necked one that's extremely sound on the move. You can see maybe giving up a little bit of rib shape today and a little bit of squareness out that hip. Good cattle though all the way through in this class. First place out of class seven goes to Julia Brown. Second place to Cole Cohen. Third place to Courtney Rathke. Fourth place to Brady Mulhaney. Fifth place to Tyler Giddings, and sixth place to Grace Schmitz and Friends. Now entering the ring is your champion drive for Division Three.
once again, an absolutely excellent division here in this particular, in the purebred side. And, you know, I, I think there's there's two heifers out of the, these two class winners that are very, very good and, and, and take nothing away from that, the seconds as well. But I think both heifers are extremely, extremely good in terms of their, their maternal build and, and yet still give you a, a tremendously good look from the side. I, you know, to me, though, I think when you talk structure all day long and, and, and build and, and what have you, when you start at the ground, the young lady in the peach shirt, I, I think when you read that one at the ground, is so good in terms of her angles and yet gets out and goes with, with absolutely flawless authority. Young lady out of that first class is going to be your champion. The young lady out of the second class will be reserved. Your division champion goes to Tyler Vondra and reserve to Julia Brown. Now entering the ring is Class 8, junior yearling females. Birth dates range from, range from January 1st to February 28th of 2022.
kind of a logical class winner for me in, in the big white heifer. And, and she doesn't maybe overwhelm you in any one particular area. But, you know, when you, when you look at these things as a preview show, we got to project them on and how they're going to do later on. And to me, I think this one in this particular class has got way the most upside. I think, obviously, she's the most ideal in terms of her condition. So fresh up through that front end. And, no, does she have as much muscle as the heifer right behind her? But... No, but I think when you trim that one down in two and make her the same con body condition score as this one, I think it gets a lot closer. I think love the femininity and, and the ultra look this one gives you. And to me, you know, so oftentimes when we get them that good a neck, they falls back and they're a lot shallower in terms of their body. I think this one holds true and, and, and does that, doesn't do that. She's, you know, comes down with a nice uniform in terms of her body depth. Just a nice heifer here to go ahead and start with. Obviously a little bit more power and muscle in the heifer that comes in too, but to me I think part of that width, it reads due to a little bit of condition. I think where she does set herself apart though is at the ground in terms of her bone. I think when in relation to her contemporaries right behind her, way stouter in terms of her bone. She looks like she's got a nickel's worth of swelling there right above her hock, but I think it's just the way the hair is. I, I think that one's relatively for as stout a bone as she is, is good jointed. You know, to me, I think, I, I, you know, that one will be the breaking point will be the next 30 days on her because she can either stop growing and, and, and continue to get higher condition or she, you get her lean back down and, and get some more rib shape added to her. That one's going to be a great cow, though, and it'll be, be a really, really nice project for that young man as it continues to go. Young man in third kind of showed him what, showed himself up there. I think... You know, she doesn't balance up maybe as, some of the, as well as some of the other heifers in the class, but she's so extended. When he gets her stopped and gets her set up, she balances up a little better in terms of her top line. I love that one in terms of her structure, though, and where she's at in terms of her degree of condition. Extremely sound off of both ends. She's a little bit frail for, or frailer made for me to go any higher, and that's where it kind of puts her there. But to me, that added length of body and, and growth is what allows her to slide in that third hole. Then you've got an opposite end of the extreme here. Jet necked, cool built, you know, but to me this one, it, 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 she's a little clubby for me, I guess I'll say. She reads with some muscle shape and some dimension. She's stouter bone than that one right above her, but she's a little bit shorter bodied. Young man's doing a good job getting her shown. <coughs> I like that one in terms of just, I think if you show by weight, this one does, you know, and gets in a little younger class, she can stir, sure stand some competition, but I just like these next two. I just like to see have a shot more performance to go any higher today. Like I just, not to sound like a broken record, but this one, if she just is a little softer from her navel back, gets, that, gets ahead of that one right above her. Because I think this one's a little softer in terms of her build. Excuse me, but for being a little bit lower performing and a little bit shorter bodied, I'd like to see her a nickel softer. Yet you ask that one to go, and her structural integrity is what allows her to go where she is. She's sound off of both ends. She's really good up through that front, cleaner about that chest, and that's what sets her apart from the heifer that rounds out the class. I love where she's at in her degree of condition. That's one that'll be fun to come at later in the fall and see where she falls in this class. I like a lot of things about the young lady, young ladies half around and out the class. One of the higher capacity heifers within the drive, but you can see she gets a little bit improportionate in terms of her front end, gets the little deepest part of her body's her chest floor. I'd like her in term, I like her in terms of her structure and her build. Young lady does a great job getting her shown, but you can see she's just quite a bit higher in terms of her condition for me today, and that's what fall, lets her fall to that fifth hole. Good set of heifers, though. Really nice class. Your class winner out of Class 8 and your division champion goes to Kelsey Cooney. Your reserve in second place goes to Hank Pfaff. And in third place is Morgan Eng. Fourth place to Jackson Britsky. Fifth place to Jillian Schletz. And sixth place to Anna Hibiki. Yes. 
Now entering the ring is Class 9, Senior Yearling Females. Birthdays range from September 1st to December 31st of 2021. Really nice single entry here in the senior Earl division. Extremely, extremely fresh. And young lady says she's a December, so that only puts her a month behind those Januaries that we had. But really nice female. She's way good out her hip and, and yet ties in good in her shoulder and, and still fresh about her condition. Be anxious to get her out here in this, draw, or in this uh, division and see how she stacks up. Your class winner out of class nine goes to Gianna Bushell. She's also your division five champion. Now entering the ring will be your grand champion Shorthorn Heifer Drive.
Well, certainly it's, it's been an honor and a privilege to come and, and sort this particular show. And, and I tell you, when I got the call, she was like, well, I hope you don't think I'm badgering you. And, and I'm like, no, not at all. Because I, 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 I apologize for kind of being hard to get a hold of sometimes. But I, I will tell you, it, without a doubt, it, it's not disappointed at all. And, and I, I, you know, I always love to come and work with kids because there's nothing I enjoy I know more at home than to work with uh work with my kids and, and let alone try and work with other kids through my job and, and, and that's one thing I really enjoy is going out and, and when you have people that are willing to get better and trying to get better that that's all you can ask for but I, I will tell you kids what we'll probably lose some people here as the drive goes on but kids just tell your mom and dad thank you because you don't realize how much this costs or what what it does until you have to do it on your own and and that's I always had a really good relationship with my dad, and, and I do with my kids, but sometimes today we get a little off track and, and, and have a hard time seeing what the, the grand scheme of things are, and you kids are already at such an advantage in terms of the workforce and, and down the road, so I won't ramble much long or anymore, but I, I, let's go ahead and give these kids a nice round of applause for bringing you a tremendous set of cattle. One other thing is it, it never disappoints me coming to Wisconsin because you as a parent, and I know how hard it is to keep these kids dressed and looking professional, but absolutely a tremendous set of, of showmen that we've seen today throughout. And, and my hat's off to you guys as a state for always, always having as competitive a kids as there are anywhere. So once again, ha uh, hats off to you guys, and I'll go get you a champion in reserve. Your champion purebred heifer goes to Morgan Vondra and reserve to Julia Brown. Congratulations. Now entering the ring is going to be your champion bread and own drive. So anyone with those bread and own heifers, please make your way into the ring.
beautiful single entry three year old cow here and got a nice coupon bull calf right behind her. And one thing you really appreciate about this cow is not only the condition she's in, but that's one that's a darn nice udder for a three year old and, and I you know, just screams longevity in terms of where, when she'll be in this young man's herd. Let's go ahead and I don't know about you guys, but anybody drug a cow calf pair as much as we have, it costs a lot too. So let's give this nut young man a nice round of applause for bringing you a good pair. Your champion shorthorn cow calf pair was exhibited by Tyler Giddings. Now entering the ring is Class 11, Shorthorn Plus Heifer Calves. Birthdays range from September 1st to October 31st of 2022. A close pair here, and, and, and I tell you, it is a little closer than it would, you guy would think because as much as I appreciate a lot of the things about the blue heifer, I think there's a tremendous amount of future in the red. But with that being said, the advantages that the, the blue heifer has is just gives you so much more of a maternal look. She's softer in that middle one-third. Yeah, she's got a little plainer head and neck about her, but I think in this particular case, that kind of works to her advantage because that, that, that little bit of plainness makes her a little bit softer all the way through. Moreover, I think she's a notch bigger in terms of her bone work, and I, I think it's kind of a wash in terms of muscle because I think that the red heifer is so green in terms of her makeup that to say that she's as thick or one's thicker in this particular stage of their life is somewhat of a crapshoot, but... Just to me, I love the softness of look that that blue heifer gives you, and that's what allows her to slide into that one hole. Now, without a doubt, the red heifer is probably a nickel better from her hooks to her pins, and I'll grant you that. But I think that, too, with that being said, she's so jet-necked, and, and, and once again, as I alluded to in one of those earlier heifer classes, when they're that good a neck, that kind of follows that one back through, and she gets a little sh shallower and harder in terms of her forerib, and i just maybe like to give her a shot more belly here to run with that class winner. Two excellent, excellent heifers here, just a little bit different where they're at in their maturity. Your class winner and division champion out of class 11 goes to Bailey Abney. Your reserve division and second in class goes to Taylor Belfield. 
Now entering the ring is class 12, late spring yearling females. Birthdays range from May 1st to June 30th of 2022. And those who are getting hungry for lunch, don't forget to check out the concession stand where they have walking tacos, hot dogs, blueberry muffins, donuts, cookies, coffee, soda, and water available. And don't forget to pick up your WSA raffle tickets available at the concession stand. Tickets are $10 each. The drawing will be December 1st, and the prizes include the 150th anniversary shorthorn print by C.J. Brown, and also the shorthorn history book. Just a reminder to not forget that Kegley's is leaving, leaving after the junior show. Please get everything you need before the conclusion of that. We'd also like to take this time to once again thank our junior show judge, Chuck Lepner, from Fairbury, Illinois. He works for Early Bird Feeds and studied at Western Illinois University. He owns and operates a Semental operation with his wife, Tori, and children, Grayson Curtis. Thank you, Chuck, for coming to Wisconsin today.
Blue Roan Heifer's got a whale of potential and, and future ahead of her. And one that I love the condition she's in when in relation to her age and just big bone, big body, and got some muscle shape to her and still relatively feminine up through that front end. Be anxious to get her out here in the champion drive. The young lady that comes in second with the red roaned heifer, I, I think one that you appreciate that one in terms of her genuine build and structure. I think too though, when you compare her to that class winner, she gets a little more tapered from her hooks to her pins and maybe doesn't quite have that stoutness to go any higher, but two really good heifers in their own rights, just like the added power and dimension of the blue roan. Your division two champion and class 12 winner goes to Haley Erdman. Your reserve division in second place in class 12 goes to Peyton Dorn. Now entering the ring is class 13, spring yearling females. Birthdays range from March 1st to April 30th of 2022. We'd like to take this time to go ahead and thank our 2023 sponsors. Your gold buckle sponsors include Badwater Cattle Company, Bright Lights Show Cattle, C4 Show Cattle, Door Creek Shorthorns, Dreamy 280 Cattle Company, Lehman Cattle Company, Miller Farms, Orbaugh Family Shorthorns, and the Valley Beef Association. Your Shorthorn Stockman level sponsors include Bischel Family Cattle, Bleeding Hearts Cattle Company, Country K Shorthorns, Just a Mere Farm, Knollswood Shorthorns, Oakwood Farms, Olson Family Shorthorns, Sandview Farms, Signature Farms, White Oak Beef, DNA Farms, and Images Embroidery. Thank you to all the 2023 sponsors. Helping pass out awards this afternoon is the Shorthorn Lassie Princesses. Our 2023 Lassie Princesses are Haley Thompson, Courtney Rathke, Anna Hibiki, and the 2023 Lassie Queen is Caitlin Olson. Our photographer for today is Courtney Orr with Beautiful Moments Photography. You can find these images from today at beautifulmomentsphotography.smugmug.com. Thank you, Courtney. Two really good cattle here and, and one and two that are both good in terms of their basic build, but just like the added look and, and, and length of body in that class winner, the solid black heifer, or the black baldy heifer here. And I mean, boy, when you talk about one that just so dead level in her design and so good out her hip from her hooks to her pins, is she the widest built one that we've seen all day? No, not at all. But I love her uniformity of depth. And, and then moreover, you put where she's at in terms of condition, that, one, that one's awful, awful nice. I, the young lady that comes out in two, She's got one that, that I like quite well, like I said, in terms of her basic build. Heifer's good in terms of her lines. You can kind of see, though, she gets a little bit flatter about her stifle. When you compare to that class winner, she gets a little higher in her flank. Maybe like to just help her in terms of her uniformity adept. Good cattle, though, just doesn't have that added look and extension that that class winner does. Your winner out of class 13 in Division Three champion goes to Gianna Bischel. Your second place in reserve Division Three champion goes to Kelsey Cooney. Now entering the ring is class 14, junior yearling females. Birthdays range from January 1st to February 28th of 2022.
extremely close pair here. And to me, the red heifer just comes at you a little bit trimmer in terms of her overall makeup. I, I you know, to me, when you ask them to get out and go, she stay remains a little bit more pliable and free out of that front one third. And to me, I think that's primarily due to condition. I, I don't think there's a lot of structure issues with the blue roan heifer. I just think this one a little bit more correct to where she's at in terms of her maturity and allows that structure to get out and go is, is being a little bit trimmer from front to rear than the one and two. I, you know, that too, when you ask her to get out and go, she's just a little bit more flexible off of both ends and just reaches and goes with a little more authority. I like the, the added width and power that the blue roan heifer gives you. I think you read down her top, she's a nickel and uh, bigger in terms of her back. When you read her from right behind, she reads with a nickel more muscle. But I think part of that is due to her condition. And you can kind of see she has a little bit more, needs to stand a little bit wider up front. I, like I said, I think that's due partially to where she's at in her condition. Both good cattle, just like the added trimness to the red heifer. Good pair of heifers. Your class 14 winner and division four champion goes to Bra Braxton Bulky. In your reserve division goes to Ty Mullaney. Now entering the ring is class 15 with Kenzie Everson. McKenzie's got a really nice single entry here that could certainly stand some competition. I think one in relation to her age and what have you is still relatively fresh in terms of her makeup. Heifer's got some muscle and some bone and, and yet, you know, still gives it in a relatively attractive package. You know, yeah, if you could make it a perfect world, free her up ever so slightly off that front end and let her get out and go with a little more freedom and easement. I think that'd be good, but I think without a doubt, we're going to be a great cow for this young lady. Be anxious to get her out here in the champion drive. Congratulations to our Division 5 champion, Kenzie Everson. Now entering the ring is your champion, Shorthorn Plus Heifer Drive. With our junior show beginning to wind down, just another reminder that Kegley's will be leaving at the conclusion of the junior show. So be sure to stop over there and get any of your show stock needs before they head out. Well, as we're getting around out the, the Shorthorn Plus show, once again, I think the top end of this thing has been very, very good as like I thought it would. But, I, you know, I think 
one thing I've tried to maintain throughout the day is having, you know, kind of starting at the ground up and, and maintaining some look and some muscle pass there. But I think there's one heifer that does that pretty well in this particular drive. And we'll go take a second look at them and get you a reserve. But let's give these kids in this plus division a nice round of applause for bringing you a really good set of cattle. Congratulations to your champion Shorthorn Plus female going to Gianna Bischel and your reserve to Bailey Abney.
anyone hungry ringside can check out the food stand. They have walking tacos available along with hot dogs, blueberry muffins, donuts, cookies, coffee, soda, and water. Also, while you're over there, if you're interested in WSA raffle tickets, they are available for $10. The drawing will be on December 1st, and the prizes include the 150th, Anniversary Shorthorn Print by C.J. Brown in the Shorthorn History Book. Also, just a reminder, Kegley's will be leaving after the conclusion of the Junior Show, so get anything you need before that. Now entering the ring is Class 15, Shorthorn Plus Cow-Calf Pair.
you guys must have had the same luck we've had. We've had 14 bull calves in a row at home, so I kind of feel your pain on that end. But I tell you, the, the old blue roan, blue headed cow here, she kind of, that, that's, that's one that's going to be fun to look at for a long time. I think when you take into consideration her added power and dimension in terms of just muscle and, and, and bone, but yet still when you look at her from the side, she gives you that ultra, ultra balanced look. Is she got the best on her out here? I, I'm not going to say she does, but I'll tell you, when you look at that calf, he certainly has got much to him as anything out here. Not only are the, the you know, sometimes I, I, I guess when you look at her teat size and length, you kind of screams longevity. Is, so, you know, the size of that udder doesn't really concern me as, as much as that calf. It sure looks like he's doing pretty well. The young lady that comes out in two, there's one that I, I guess does trump the blue roan in terms of her udder quality. I love that, that set and that length of her teeth. Just a really, really nice cow. She gives you some length of body. She's doing a really, really good job with her calf. Yet when you get her on the side view profile, maybe doesn't balance up and read with as much power as that class winner does. Both really, really good cows as well. Kind of the low input, high high end deal is the one in third and young man you've got a really really good cow as well got a really nice bull calf at side that's probably going to generate really good for that young man I maybe just would like to see her a little bigger maybe in her overall stature just give her a shot more frame but got a really nice bull calf at her side be a good cow for that young man down the road good set of cows though from end to end Your champion Shorthorn Plus cow-calf pair goes to Bailey Abney. Your reserve champion goes to Courtney Rathke. And third place goes to Landon Britsky. Your photographer for today is Courtney Orr. With Beautiful Moments Photography, you can find the images from today at her website, beautifulmomentsphotography.smugmug.com. Thank you, Courtney. Now in the ring is your first class of Shorthorn Plus Bulls. These are junior bull calves. These are the purebred calves, my apologies. These calves are born after January 1st of 2023.
got a month difference in a February and a March, but that's a that's a lifetime in these guys' time. And you can kind of see there's quite a bit of added power and dimension difference between the two. A lot, a lot of power and, and muscle when you get on top of this whole calf that starts the class and, you know, just get pretty hard to get around in this particular drive. Young lady's got a bull calf that's maybe just set a little better in terms of the slope to his shoulder, but just doesn't quite have that natural thickness and dimension here to go and against that class winner today. Be anxious to get him out here for the champion drive. Your champion division one purebred shorthorn bull goes to Tyler Giddings. Your reserve goes to Courtney Rathke. Now entering the ring is class 17 winter bull calves. Birthdays range from November 1st to December 31st of 2022. Really nice single entry fall bull. And, and what I like about this calf is just his structure. I think when you look at those feet and how they all point the right direction and then so good in terms of his lines and then you ask him to get out and go, when he relaxes, he holds his top perfect in motion. You know, kind of that when he first came in, he kind of wanted to roach a little bit. And then after he relaxed going around, he settled in. But nice calf here. I love that extension up through his front end for as much pus muscle and power as he's got. He's so good at the base of his shoulder. Nice calf here for a single entry. Your Division II champion bull goes to Kelsey Cooney. Now entering the ring as Class 18 Senior Bull Calves. These birthdays range from September 1st to October 31st of 2022. Just another reminder, Kegley's will be leaving at the conclusion of the junior show, so please make sure anything you need is purchased prior to the conclusion of this show. At the conclusion of the junior show, there will be a 15-minute break prior to starting the open show. Again, at the conclusion of the junior show, we will be taking a 15-minute break before starting the open show. Once again, we'd like to thank our judge, Chuck Lemonager, for coming out today and judging the Wisconsin State Shorthorn Show. Chuck is from Fairbury, Illinois. He works for Early Bird Feeds and studied at Western Illinois University. He operates a Semental operation with his wife, Tori, and children, Grace and Curtis. Let's go ahead and give Chuck one big round of applause. Opt to go with the September Red Bull here, and 
you know, I think that's one for his age. You certainly got to appreciate him for the amount of muscle and power that he's got. Now, it's kind of one of them classes where if you could combine the one and two, you could really, really have something pretty unique because the only thing I'd like to change about this calf is just kind of narrow that head up a little bit and give him a little bit smoother shoulder. I think, but to get that much muscle and power and dimension, you're going to have a little bit of boldness up front. But I'd just like to soften him up just in terms of that shoulder and give him a, a little bit more pliability. The young lady that comes in too, absolute opposite end of the spectrum. Extremely sound off of both ends. You know, extremely flexible and pliable off of them feet and legs. But you'd just like to power him up a little bit in terms of his muscularity. Just give him a little bit more of a man look. I think he's a bulldog that's good in terms of his build and gets around the ring free and easy. I just, like I said, like to get when you get right behind him, power him up ever so slightly. Good pair of bulls, just a little different in their type and kind. Your Division Three champion, Shorthorn Bull, goes to Emily Overbaugh. In your reserve, to Keeley Everson. Now entering the ring is your champion, Shorthorn Bull Drive. Once again, not a huge amount of numbers in this bull drive, but I think the quality has been really good. It, you know, it's kind of one of them deals where you just, in the, judging these bull calves, you've got to got to kind of hit the middle a little bit and, and so much throw a dart to where you hope it, it lands right at the end. But I think the combination bull that best combines muscle and structure and still gives you somewhat of a look is that bull out of the second class. I think... You know, obviously when he relaxes and comes together, that's one thing as a judge you gotta kind of roll the dice at. But when he relaxes that back and gets into motion and moves, he's so good at the ground. His feet and legs are excellent. To me, he, is he the powerful muscled bull out here? No, but I think when you combine him between the two, he's the one that best combines muscle and, and, and structure and still does it with a, a relatively good package. And then. I think you need to kind of bet on the come here a little bit on your reserve because I think that little bull calf out of that first class is so good in terms of his structure. Once again, he I think when in relation to his age has got some muscularity, the young man out of that first class will be your reserve. Nice pair of bulls just the way I see him today. Your champion Shorthorn Bull goes to Kelsey Cooney in reserve to Tyler Giddings. Congratulations. Now entering the ring is class 19 Shorthorn Plus Junior Bull Calves.
Courtney Orr is your photographer for today with Beautiful Moments Photography. If you're looking for any images from the Junior Show today, you can check out her website at beautifulmomentsphotography.smugmug.com. You know the neatest part about this class is, buddy, you get to go home and tell all the girls that you had champion shorthorn plus bull at the preview show. You, nobody needs to know that there was only one but because you, you got the champion. But he got a really good calf, buddy. I love this calf. Like I, I, I mean, I liked him along his mother in, in particular class. He's a calf when in relation to his age. He's got some muscle shape. He's really good in terms of his lines. He'll be a really good young, uh, be a good bull calf or steer, whatever he decides to do with this calf. Let's go ahead and give this young man a nice round of applause for having your champion show on bull. Congratulations to Landon Britsky with your champion Shorthorn Plus Bowl. That does conclude our junior show. We'll be taking a 15-minute break before starting the open show.
Before we get kicked off with the open show, we'd like to welcome our judge, Justin Adcock, from Moequa, Illinois. He attended University of Illinois in Lakeland, where he studied ruminant nutrition and animal science. With his family and wife, Emily, he helps operate Adoc land and cattle, land and livestock, where they predominantly show Semmentals. Thank you, Judge Justin, for joining us today. Now entering the ring is going to be your Shorthorn Plus Bulls. This is class 101, Junior Bull Calves. Birth dates are after January 1st of 2023.
Well, good afternoon. Uh, certainly a pleasure to be here uh, this afternoon and, and sort through the preview show. Uh, nice way to start off with our single in here in this Shorthorn Plus Bull Show. I think a, a calf that's got a really bright future to him. Really good fronted, big square hip in this guy, big bone, big legged. Uh, just has a really nice look. Congratulations to him. Very nice single entry to start off our day. Congratulations to your champion Shorthorn Plus Bull, exhibited by Cheerful Acre Shorthorns. Now entering the ring is your first class of purebred Shorthorn Bulls. This is the Junior Bull Calves. Birthdays range from January 1st to March 31st of Let's start off here in the purebred division. Uh, nice pair of bulls. Going to go ahead and leave them as they stand. I think structure and build for me sorts this particular pair. Uh, young ladies bull up front. When we set this guy on the go, I think has a pretty distinct advantage there, and it starts in his shoulder. More relaxed there in the way that he's built through his shoulder and knee. Stronger right there behind his blade. I think he's a calf that obviously he's, he's young and green, but all the pieces are there. I just love that one's build and skeleton all the way through. A uh, really nice place to start. Just a nickel more power in the red and white calf that's going to come out in two uh, at this stage, maybe just a notch deeper there in the center portion of his body. Still a good looking calf, uh, really neat through his front one third. As I said there, uh, whenever we study that guy through his shoulder, a little more opened up and coarser uh, there in the base of that one shoulder, a little more pinched in his heart and full rib. Doesn't just want to get out and flex quite as well out of that front end. A nice pair of bulls though to start off our purebred division. Your Division I champion, purebred shorthorn bull, goes to Sandview Farm. Your reserve Division I goes to Tag Livestock. Now entering the ring is Class 103 Winter Bull Calves. Birthdays range from November 1st to December 31st of 2022. Another nice single entry here uh, in this in this purebred division. Uh, another bull that I think is really good whenever we study this guy from the ground up. Big footed, uh, still one that's got some bone underneath in there. I think it's a calf that still gets out in the ring and handles himself very nicely on the go. Soft center, just a nice single entry. Your division champion, your division two champion goes to Cattail Ridge Farms. Congratulations. Now entering the ring is Class 104, Senior Bull Calves. The birth date of this class is September 4th of 2022.
Another nice single entry here, another bull that's a, a little more different in terms of his build, uh, really burly, big bodied, stout one uh, as you study this guy. He's a bull that's just loaded with meat and production. He's still, I think, one that handles himself nicely as he's asked to lead. Uh, just again, another nice single entry as we move through this show. Your champion division three bull goes to Orba Family Shorthorns. Congratulations. Coming into the ring next is Class 105 with the late spring yearling bulls. Birthdays range from May 1st to August 31st. Helping pass out awards this afternoon are the Shorthorn Lassie Princesses. Our 2023 Lassie Princesses are Haley Thompson, Courtney Rathke, Abby or Anna Hibiki, and our Lassie Queen is Caitlin Olson. Another single entry uh, that makes my life easy as we sort through these bulls. Uh, I think another place that uh, definitely could have stood some more competition out here, just like that last bull, a bull that's uh, big bodied, easy fleshing, a uh, bull that's still got plenty of power, lots of natural dimension to him. I think still really neat in the way that he's built from this side. Uh, again, just a, a nice one that could have stood more heat out here. Congratulations to your Division Four champion, Door Creek Shorthorns. Next coming into the ring is is your cl is class 106 early spring yearling bulls birthdays range from March 1st to April 31st Anyone ringside who's, who is hungry, there are still walking tacos available at the food stand along with coffee, soda, and water. Contrasting type and kind in a pair of bulls as we sort through this division here. Uh, I really like this guy that's going to go ahead and lead off. Uh, incredibly pleasing to the eye when he stopped in park. Really good fronted. I like the design and symmetry of this guy. Everything fits and in the symmetrical of his neck to his shoulder, shoulder back into his fore rib. Balances up nice there. You get in behind him, really still opened up and stout and dimensional as you get right in behind him. I think just a very comfortable place to start here in this respective class and division. Uh, I like the moderation and the depth of side in this guy. Guy that's going to come out here in two, one that's got some length and extension to him. Uh, obviously a little nervous out here today, but uh, I think he's one that just comes in a few more pieces as we study him right behind his, his blade. He really wants to get just a little weaker there and maintains that through his loin, a little coarser over that tail head. I think he's still a bull that's got a lot of good youthful pieces to him, though. Your Division Four champion bull goes to Bright Lights Show Cattle, and your reserve division goes to Door Creek Shorthorns. Now entering the ring will be your champion purebred shorthorn bull.
Nice lineup here in the Shorthorn Bull Division. I think uh, starting from that calf down to our oldest one, I think we've got bulls that have a lot of good pieces to them. Um, and I'm, I'm just here to kind of tell you how I feel about them is, as you sit ringside and, and are breeders, that and you kind of decide what works best in your operation. Obviously, it's the most important thing whenever we're going through the bull show. But I think as we study these guys, I think, again, just lots of good good things standing out here. That calf that comes out of that first division, really good built uh, that kind of set the tone there. I think he's one that, as I said there in class, I like how relaxed and laid back he is in his shoulder and knee going for this stage. of this is good at the ground. Obviously, the most important thing, uh, uh, he's not going to get better there if we don't start off with a good package. That's a good look, and I think one that's got a lot of very nice, bright future to him. But okay, that comes out of division number two. Uh, again, another one that I like a lot of things about. Here's a bull that's really good necked, uh, soft centered. He's still got a nice bone and feet underneath him. He's a bull that uh, balances up nicely as you study him there from the top of his blade back. I think he's one that, as I said, is really soft as you study him there through the center portion of his body. Good set of feet and legs under him. Moderate, uh, burly one that came out of division number three is one that's a little different out here in type and kind, but uh, definitely has some really intriguing pieces. Uh, maybe it's just as massive as any bull standing out here in this lineup, especially for his age. He's one that is just loaded with muscle and meat. Uh, this bull that's just, again, reads with a tremendous amount of quality. A uh, bull that comes out of that fourth division is one that I like a lot of things about. Maybe is one of those that's just no frills, but I think has got a lot of good, again, good, youthful pieces to him. Really good structure. He's a bull that is, again, still good fronted. He's a bull that I love the depth of side that he's got, the mass and power that he's got as you study that bull from a three-quarter rear angle. Just Again, another one that's got a lot of good pieces to him. And the bull that rounds out that last division, uh, one that's probably as intriguing from a look and style standpoint as any bull out here. Uh, he's one that still is big-legged, big-footed, got plenty of bone and power as we study this guy. I'll go out and I'll show you the champion reserve here in this respective division. Let's give our exhibitors in this Shorthorn Bull Show a nice round of applause. Awesome way to start off our divisions. Your champion purebred shorthorn bull goes to Bright Lights Show Cattle. ZSS Hindsight. Your reserve champion goes to Cattail Ridge Farm with BLCS SM Rocket Fuel. Congratulations. At this time, we'd like to thank some of our sponsors for helping put on the 2023 State Wisconsin Shorthorn Preview Show. The Gold Buckle sponsors include Badwater Cattle Company, Bright Lights Show Cattle, C4 Show Cattle, Door Creek Shorthorns, Dreamy 280 Cattle Company, Lehman Cattle Company, Miller Farms, 
Orba Family Shorthorns, and the Valley Beef Association. The Shorthorn Stockman level sponsors include Bischel Family Cattle, Bleeding Hearts Cattle Company, Country K Shorthorns, Just a Mere Farm, Knowleswood Shorthorns, Oakwood Farms, Olson Family Shorthorns, Sandview Farm, Signature Farms, White Oak Beef, DNA Farms, and Images Custom Embroidery. Thank you to all the sponsors this year. Once again, we'd like to welcome the open show judge, Justin Adcock from Illinois. He attended University of Illinois and Lakeland College, where he studied ruminant nutrition and animal science. With his family and wife, Emily, he helps operate Adcock Land and Livestock, where they predominantly show Semmentals. Let's go ahead and give Justin a warm Wisconsin welcome. Once again, Courtney Orr is the photographer today with Beautiful Moments Photography. If you'd like to find any of your images from today, check out our website at beautifulmomentsphotography.smugmug.com.
Now entering the ring is Class 107, Shorthorn Plus Cow-Calf Pair. Really, really nice uh, trio of cows here in this plus division. It's a shame that something's got to go bottom here in this class because I've, I've got to do a, a lot of state-type pre preview shows and state shows, and uh, and you, you'd hope that you've got a cow nice as nice as the one that, that's going to end up winding off just somewhere to use. But I think these two that are going to go ahead and stand up here in, in first and second be your champion reserve, really, really good. This red cow that's going to go ahead and lead off, that one is my kind. Big body, burly, stout, I think one that just, and, and get out and flat motor as we set this cow in motion. Still really attractive and well-balanced through that front one-third uh, female that still balances up nice from their shoulders back. Really nice udder on all, all three of these. Uh, I think still doing an awesome job with that calf there at side. And again, just feet and legs and body. I think that one's femininity. Really, really nice place to start. Uh, the pair that comes out here in next. A little more punch, a little more power whenever you study that one. Bone and foot size. It'll be just a nickel more opened up. Uh, hooks to pins. I think a cow that again just loaded with body and power again I, I probably like the way that one's teats are set out on the corner a little just a nickel more refined slightly uh, better than the one directly in front of her cow that's a nickel crestier and plainer through her front one third uh, than that one directly in front of her but man that again just a, a good functional cow doing an awesome job with that calf there at side the one that rounds off this particular class I said there's a lot of places you can go and, and hope that you've got one this nice because she's refined she's feminine she's doing her job good utter doing a nice job with that calf there his side here today just gives up a little bit of the body and power of those two up on front. Congratulations to your champion Shorthorn Plus Cow Calf Pair Sandview Farms and to your reserve champion Abney Family Cattle. Third place in the Shorthorn Plus Division Cow Calf Division comes from Cheerful Acre Farms. Now entering the ring is Class 108 Senior Heifer Calves. These birthdays range from September 1st to October 31st of 2022.
contrasting pair here as we start off our plus uh, heifer division. I like a lot of things about both of these females. And like I said, very different. They're type and kind. On the blue run that's going to go ahead and lead off, though, you get in behind this one. Uh, just way more cow power there. Way more bolder and opened up as we study her there through her chest floor, through that rib cage. Big top, thick ended type female, yet still handles it all very nicely whenever we set that one in motion. I think she's attractive enough whenever we study her there through her front one third. I like to jack her pin set up and tail head up just ever so slightly, but I think that one is, again, just burly and stout and good structure done. Very comfortable place for me to start. I really, really like this red heifer as she's standing off to the side of her. That one is r long and freaky through that front one third. Balances up so nicely as we study her there. I just wish whenever you get right in behind her there was more natural cow there. This is a female that's a little flatter, a little lighter muscled in relation to that one in front of her. Congratulations to your Division I champion, Abney Family Cattle. Your reserve division goes to C&B Farms. Now entering the ring is Class 109, late spring yearling females. Birthdays range from May 1st to June 31st. Blue Roan Heifer that's going to go ahead and lead off. I really like this one. Stopped and parked. Uh, one that is massive and dimensional in terms of her shape. I think a female that's still very pleasing to look at from this side. Young lady does a really nice job getting this one set up. I think just again a, a very comfortable place to start a little better in terms of not only that muscle and power but more relaxed in her structure in relation to that one that's going to come in behind her. Red and White Heifer that's going to come out and do is a little smoother in the way that she ties in from her neck back into her shoulder. I think a female that's really soft as we study and the center portion of her skeleton. We set this one in motion, though, for me. Just gets too upright and rigid there off of both ends. Congratulations to your Division II champion, Erdman's Diamond Valley Farm. Your reserve Division II champion is Twisted S Ranch. Now entering the ring is Class 110. Early spring yearling females. Birthdays range from April 1st to April 31st. Anyone looking for a warm treat to warm them up, there is walking tacos still available, along with various baked goods, coffee, water, and soda. 
And while you're over there, don't forget to get your WSA raffle tickets. Tickets are $10 each and will be raffled off on the 1st of December. The prize includes the 150th Shorthorn print by Bra C.J. Brown. This also, there also is the Shorthorn history book. After a brief delay there, uh, apparently she scared away the competition and uh, didn't want to didn't want to come uh, compete against her. We've got a really nice single entry here, uh, and you can see how she would scare away that competition. Uh, a female that's just ultra maternal in her type and kind. I love the the sweep to this one, center body. I love her structure and build. She still balances up very nicely. This is an extremely high quality cow prospect. Next in the ring is class 111. Late spring yearling females birthdays range from March 1st to March 31st. Another single entry here, ultra striking female from the profile, really feminine and refined in the way that she's built through that front third of her skeleton, neat and tidy through that chest floor. But again, about another one of those that balances up very nicely. Again, just a female that offers you an extremely striking view there for a single entry. Now entering the ring is the champion drive for Division Three.
pair of females that come out here uh, in contention for our division, not very different in terms of their type and kind. The heifer that comes out of that first class, a little more moderate, a uh, softer centered type of female. I like that about this one. I think a female that's still good enough as we study her there through her front one third. I think a female that again, I like that depth of spine, the female that still uh, offers you a nice easy flushing package. It gets just a nickel tighter whenever we set this one in motion in relation to her contemporary, but I think a female that's still, again, a lot of good useful pieces to her. A female that uh, is standing there out of class number two, as I said there in class, extremely striking from a profile, really ties that heck neck uh, high and uh, tight out of the top side of her blade. A female that's just so feminine and refined there, balances up extremely nicely. Uh, or I like this one the best as we not only is standing, but whenever we set her in motion, man, she can just pick them up, put them right back down in that same hole. I wish she was just a nickel softer there through the center portion of her body. I realize she's still young and immature, but I wish she was just a little bit softer. But I really like that structure and build and look. She's going to go ahead and be your division champion. Effort of class number one will be reserved. Congratulations to both those exhibitors. Congratulations to your Division Three champion, Bishel Family Cattle. Congratulations to your reserve champion, Cattail Ridge Farms. Now entering the ring is Class 112, Junior Yearling Females. Birthdays range from January 1st to February 28th. Nice pair of moderate, big-bodied, easy-flushing females. The young man's red heifer that's going to go ahead and lead off uh, does so whenever we set this pair in motion. I think a female that's more relaxed in the way that she's built uh, off of both ends, but specifically in the way that she travels through that shoulder and knee here, more relaxed and takes a freer stride as she goes there. I think balances up still very nicely, a little longer, more maternal about her head and neck and the way that she's built there. Female that's going to come out in two of the blue rounds uh, from her shoulders back is an absolute tank, massive middled one that's stout and dimensional. I think if, like you like that about that one. I think a female that as you study her there through her front one third, just a nickel shorter, crane, planer and crestier there through her front one third. And I think that kind of goes with her shoulder there as well. It's a little tighter and more restricted in the way that she travels through that shoulder and knee. Congratulations to your Division 4 champion Atlas Cattle and your reserve Signature Farms. Now entering the ring is your champion Shorthorn Plus Heifer.
Nice lineup of heifers out here in our respected division winners. Definitely they don't all look the same, but I think uh, oh, there's still a lot of good pieces out here. And we started off really nicely with that uh, blue roan out of class number one. I, I like this one quite a little bit. I think a female, as I said, they're in class so soft and dimensional. Uh, yeah, with that extra rib shape and that extra power that she's got, handles herself very nicely whenever we set this one in motion there off of both ends. Uh, I think as a has an advantage out here other than maybe one other heifer as we set this group in motion. Just so soft uh, and an awesome silhouette as you study that one from this side. Young ladies, blue roan heifer that came out of class number two is absolutely massive and dimensional as you get right in behind that one. Extremely opened up and stout. I think still for that extra power moves more than adequately whenever we set her in motion. I think a female that still balances up nicely. Maybe not just quite as soft as a, as a heifer or two out here. I think a female that again, a lot of good pieces to her. The female that comes out of class uh, division number three, uh, a female that is incredibly striking from the profile and ultra athletic as we set these guys on the go. I think a female that's just really relaxed and can get out, as I said, pick them up, put them right back down in that same hole. Really long and feminine through that front one third, balances up nicely there. Could be just a little bit softer there through the center portion of her body, but I think, again, female that's got a lot of really, really nice pieces to her. The female that came out of that last division, more moderate in terms of her kind than, than probably any out here. Uh, I'm not here to tell you what's big, small, and different, uh, just stating fact. And a female that's moderate, big-bodied, easy fleshing, I think still one that just, it moves adequately enough whenever we set her in motion. I think a female that still balances up uh, nice enough whenever you get off to the side of her. Again, I think a lot of good pieces out here. I'll uh, show you the two that I like, but let's give our exhibitors a nice round of applause as I select those champions. Congratulations to your champion, Shorthorn Plus Heifer, Abney Family Cattle, and your reserve champion, and your reserve champion to Bischel Family Cattle Company. Congratulations. At this time, we'd like to recognize the 2023 sponsors. Your gold buckle sponsors include Badwater Cattle Company, Bright Lights Show Cattle, C4 Show Cattle, Door Creek Shorthorns, Dreamy 280 Cattle Company, Lehman Cattle Company, Miller Farms, Orbaugh Family Shorthorns, the Valley Beef Association, and the Shorthorn Stockman level sponsors include Bischel Family Cattle, Bleeding Hearts Cattle Company, Country K Shorthorns, Just a Mere Farm, Knollswood Shorthorns, Oakwood Farms, Olson Family Shorthorns, Sandview Farms, Signature Farms, White Oak Beef, DNA Farms, and Images Custom Embroidery. Thank you to all those who helped make this show possible.
just a single entry here in our purebred uh, division of the the cow calf show and uh, my hats off to this exhibitor uh, we actually had joked about this last weekend there's a pair pair in our show barn uh, of one of the customers and uh, they said something about bringing it to preview show and i said i've got regionals and junior nationals in me i don't know that i've got three with that pair because they're a lot of work um so my my uh, we punted so uh good for you because uh, you're way tougher than i am uh really 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 high quality cow here to, to be this single entry female I love her body. I love her udder. I love her feet and legs that she's got. Just so maternal and youthful in her type and kind. Doing an awesome job with that calf at side. Again, really high quality single entry. Congratulations to that exhibitor. Congratulations to your champion shorthorn cow calf pair, Tyler Giddings. Now entering the ring is class 114 senior heifer calves. Birthdays range from September 1st to October 31st of 2022. Contrasting pair of females here as we start off the heifer division uh, and I'd like to take pieces of both of them just to, to have the, the perfect one I guess but the good Lord's never made a perfect one yet uh, and so you study the give and take the differences in these cattle and I think structure again sorts this pair the roan heifer that's going to go ahead and lead off uh, more relaxed in the way that she travels there off of both ends of her skeleton um, way more relaxed in the way that she travels through that Lord portion of her shoulder down to her knee today's truer and squares we study that one from hawk to ground really elevated in the way that she's built through that front one third of her skeleton female that balances up very nicely from there back female that's going to come out in two a little more moderate in terms of her kind a little softer as we study that one with that extra moderation gives you that nice soft easy flesh and look i really like this one when she stopped and parked a young lady does a very nice job with her very pleasing to look at it as we set this pair in motion female that just paddles a little too much there off of both ends for me to get her up over that one in front of her. Congratulations to your Division One champion, Shorthorn Heifer, Olson Family Shorthorns, and congratulations to your Reserve Division One, Sister B Genetics. Now entering the ring is Class 115 Summer Yearling Heifers. Birthdays range from July 1st to August 31st.
again, I think it's structure and build and design that sorts this pair. Uh, and and uh, be perfectly honest, as they as they perfectly or as soon as they walk in, there's way more to the heifer that's going to come out. And two, I uh, like that a lot about her. But as we get these cattle and travel them around the ring, I think that's where the separation exists. Uh, the roan heifer just way more athletic in the way that she's travel, ways neater, neater in the way that she's built through that shoulder, not as opened up, smoother. Everything ties together very nicely as you study this one from the side. If you could explode her apart as you get right in behind her, I think then you'd be really comfortable about that because she's not the stoutest one that we've seen all day. Uh, but I think, again, structure and build and design is where we need to land here in this respective class. Uh, standing still uh, as you study these cattle from the shoulder back, man, I really like the body type of this one that comes out in two. As that one is opened up, she's three-dimensional. She's got a ton of rib cage and shape. She still maintains that extra power uh, as you get right in behind this one. But with that extra power, just more off in terms of her balance, a female that's more opened up through that lower shoulder and here today, just really laboring as we set this pair in motion. Congratulations to Square B Cattle Company for your class win. And second place goes to Knowleswood Shorthorns. Now entering the ring is class 116, late spring yearling females. Birthdays range from May 1st to June 31st.
Well, lots of variation in terms of types and kinds as we get out here, but it, I guess in my opinion, is, is we get these cattle back out here and we set them in motion again uh, is what sorts this particular pair. I think of the pair of the better looking, uh, more uh, more highly presented type of females, females that are a little bolder, a little stouter to go with that extra presentation and look. The roan heifer that's going to go ahead and lead off just does so in the more flexible, comfortable package on the go. Both of the both ends of her skeleton there, I think just more relaxed. Again, I think it's just a, a very nice, easy place to start here in this respective class. And I think if this heifer that comes out in two could just get out and travel with a little more authority for me here today, then uh, for me, I think that makes that a very, very close decision because I really like this one stopped in part. Uh, and I think a female that offers you an incredibly striking look on the profile, neck, shoulder, shoulder back into her forerib, all that blends together very nicely. Young lady does an awesome job getting this one parked and presented. I think a female that, though, as we set this pair in motion, just gets straighter and more upright in the way that she handles that shoulder and knee, uh, wants to paddle and set herself outside herself ever so slightly there on that rear hock and pastern. Female that comes out here in three, good functional brood cow prospect, moderate, big bodied, easy fleshing. I think a female that maybe doesn't have some of the extra ESTs of those heifers directly in front of her in terms of look and style and balance, but in terms of just being a good functional brood cow, a female that does a lot of things very, very nicely. A little more look in the roan heifer that's going to come out here next, a female that's really uh, elevated in the way that she ties up high and neat out of the top side of her blade, a female that's ultra feminine, bounces up incredibly nicely, moves very soundly and adequately on the go. I think a female that, though, as we get right in behind them, it just needs to be more cow power there for me to get her up over those females in front of her. A little more moderate heifer here that comes out next to the young man's female that uh, is the bit moderate, big bodied, easy fleshing one here. I just wish, again, there was a little more to this one. It's, a, for me, just a little more moderate, and I guess then I'd like a female that struggles more whenever we set this one in motion. A female that rounds off the class has, has got more size and length and extension. I appreciate that growth and length of pattern that she's got. Uh, with some of that, for, to me, just reads a nickel harder in the way that she's built all the way through. Congratulations to your class winner from class 116, Kennedy Cohen. Second place goes to Olson Family Shorthorns. Third place to Sister B Genetics. Fourth place, Seltzer Show Cattle. Fifth place, Miller Farms. And sixth place, Bad Water Cattle Company. Now entering the ring is your division champion for Division Two. Obviously, the most that we've had in terms of numbers of any division throughout the day, and I, I think in terms of quality, still really, really nice out here. Uh, not that necessarily they're cookie cutter the same, but I think still uh, just some good, useful pieces to them out here. Her own heifer that came out of that first class uh, did so just particularly based on structure and balance. I think a female, as I said there in class, is more relaxed and laid back in the way that one travels. Uh, ultra maternal in, the, in her look as you study that one from the side. As I said there in class, I wish she was just a little more opened up as you you get right in behind that one, but I think a female that still becomes a player out here just in terms of that structure, in terms of that body. Female that came out of class number two, uh, Standing Park there, uh, again, uh, one of those two in that class that offer you a really striking look, and she was the female in that pair that was more relaxed and laid back and athletic as they're asked to go in that particular pair. I think a female that, again, massive bone, big foot, big feet underneath that one, big square feet as you study underneath that one, still opened up from her hooks back and pins down, balances up really nicely. And 
But again, I think uh, we've got some really nice things there and two uh, really, uh, really neat pieces in the female that comes out of that first class. A female, as I said there in class, I, I like so many things about that one. I wish she could just hold herself together together and travel just a little neater and then I think man that one that one reads my kind uh, but I think a female that here today though just uh, struggles more as we study her than a female that just came second out of that last class again as I said there in class really striking in the profile of female that balances up extremely nicely on uh, labors just a nickel more as we set that one in motion but that one's look and that one's body uh, to go with some extra power and dimension I think keeps her in the hunt out here I'll show you the two that I like uh, but let's put our hands to our get exhibit together for our exhibitors really nice set of heifers here in this division Congratulations to your Division II champion, Kennedy Cohen. And congratulations to your reserve champion, Olsen Family Shorthorns. Now entering the ring is Class 117, early spring yearling females. Birthdays range from April 14th to April 31st.
A lot of variations in terms of types and kinds out here in this respective class, but oh man, I really like the cow power that this young lady's heifer that comes out and is going to go ahead and lead off again. I think another one of those that was we set this group in motion, uh, incredibly sound on the go. A female that's just so relaxed in all of her angles, uh, one that uh, is, is not out here and, and presented and fit up and all dolled up, uh, but I think just everything fits together so nicely. Uh, that one doesn't need to be. She's just uh, super functional, incredibly good in her kind uh, really good cow power prospect there i think a female that leads off this class for me so that does so pretty easily and just as easily this heifer falls into two for me i think standing stopped and parked uh, she can make it quite a bit closer because here is one another one that's opened up and burly and stout and dimensional i think a female that you like that about her a lot of power and natural dimension to this one i think with some of that extra power though she's a little crestier in the way that she's built there on the top side of her neck and i think a female that just gets ever so slightly tighter as we set this pair in motion. I think, again, structure is what sorts that particular pair, but I think two heifers that definitely need to stay up on top here in this respective class. Young man's heifer here that comes out in three is one that, I th again, I think a female that's standing stopped and parked, uh, especially whenever you get right in behind this one or right in in front of this one, uh, incredibly stout and powerful. I like these females to have something to them, and this one is opened up. She's big bone. She's big legged. I think a female that here today just reads a little harder in the way that she's built in that heart and full rib, and again, another one of those that struggles just a little more as we read them off, off the way that they travel through that front one third you could relax that one in her shoulder and knee man i like the cow power and dimension from her shoulders back there i think a female that again a lot of good useful pieces to her same can be said for the female that comes out here next and i like the length and extension that this one's got big growthy high performing female again another one of those females that have got some power and some muscle and dimension to them uh, a, a female that i think definitely has some good youthful pieces to her there doesn't balance up as neat as those those have directly in front of her but again another one of those females that you can just kick out go out on grass and that one's going to do her job and make you money uh, every day as she's in production female that comes out next a little more attractive and pro and striking from a profile standpoint more feminine and more refined through her front one third bounces up really neat in the way that she's built there from the side i think a female that still handles a real third very nicely as we set this one in motion a little flatter and lighter muscled as we study her and you get right in behind her those why she falls down there female that's totally polar or opposite in type and kind coming out next moderate big bodied really easy flushing low maintenance type of one i think a female that with some of that extra moderation a little shorter more jammed up all the way through a little rounder in the way that she's built and travels there up off, off of both ends of her skeleton females that come out next i think both heifers that have some power both heifers that have some length and extension here in this respective class just don't have the look and structure and build of those up on top Congratulations to AR Dot Cattle Company for having your class winner. Second place was Knowleswood Shorthorns. Third place, Leighton Sabaski Farms. Fourth place, Badwater Cattle Company. Fifth place, C4 Show Cattle. Sixth pl fifth place, yep, C4 Show Cattle. Sixth place, Cattail Ridge Farms. Seventh place, Cat Badwater Cattle Company. And eighth place, Edmondson Farm. Now in the ring is class 118, late spring yearling females. Birthdays range from March 1st to March 31st.
I really like this pair of females. Uh, I think a, a pair of females that just do so many things right and, and switched up the order uh, and, and did this class bottom to top uh, strictly just because both of them were kind of stuck in a bad spot over in the corner. Uh, kind of allow me to be able to see and not look into the glare of the sun because I think it's just some subtle nitpicky differences uh, that goes ahead and breaks down this pair because by both of this pair uh, from their shoulders back, burly, stout, and dimensional, massive as we study them there, is stout and dimensional and opened up as any pair of females that we've seen come through out the, through the ring today. And I think then it gets down to some subtle differences in the, not only the way that they handle that, but I think then as we study these cattle off of their front end, and I think there's some give and take there. I think for me, though, just in terms of some extra completeness, in terms of being just a notch more ladylike in the way that she's designed uh, through her chest floor and the way that she's built up through the top side of her of her crest and neck is uh, the, where the red heifer has an advantage here that's going to go ahead and lead off. I think she's a little trimmer and free neater there is the way that she's built there. I think a female, as we study in the way that she travels through that shoulder, uh, is a little more relaxed in the way that she gets out and she travels and can flex off of that front one-third. I think a female that, again, uh, both of this pair of females, I love their body and their capacity and their natural dimension. I think a female is just a little neater in the way that she's built and travels out there on that front one-third. But it takes nothing away from the roan heifer that comes out here, too, uh, because, again, that one is opened up and dimensional. And from her shoulders back, I like that one as good as any as we've seen throughout the day. Because that one's tail head is built nice. She's opened up, hooks back, pins down bone, foot, everything fits together very nicely as we study her there. She's rocked just a little bit, ever so slightly more forward. That young man does an awesome job trying to show that out of her. She's just rocked a little further forward there in that shoulder and knee today. Got just a little breath, bit of a crest as you study there at the top of her neck, right up and not quite as ladylike in the way that she's designed through that pole. But that's, again, getting very critical of uh, two extremely high-quality females. Ever here that comes out in three, uh, really high-quality female in her own right, just runs into a couple buzz saws and doesn't and gives up the extra power and dimension as this one offers you a very pleasing feminine ladylike look on the profile here today though there just needs to be more cow to compete with those up in front of her the chromed up heifer here that comes out next has a little more boldness and stoutness as you study this one stopped and parked whenever we set this one in motion she just struggles a little more as we go as we ask the lead same can be said for the young man's heifer here that comes out next i like the way this one is opened up i like her depth of side i like her extra power i just wish she was a little more relaxed in her skin skeleton, a pair of heifers that round off this particular class. Moderate, big bodied, easy flushing, good functional doing brood cows. Just don't have the look of those heifers up on top. Congratulations to Sister B Genetics on your class win. Second place goes to Cole Cohen. Third place, Sandview Farm. Fourth place, White Oak Beef. Fifth place, Signature Farms. Sixth place, Tag Livestock. And seventh place, White Oak Beef. White Oak Beef. Now entering the ring is your Division Three Champion Drive. Our photographer for today is Courtney Orr with Beautiful Moments Photography. If you're looking for any of your images from today, you can check out our website at beautifulmomentsphotography.smugmug.com. Thank you, Courtney. Really like this division as deep as any as we've had throughout the day here. Uh, and I, again, we started off very nicely. Good functional brood cow prospect that comes uh, first out of class number one. Just all journal, uh, no frills, but I think one is very basic and fundamental for type and kind and build. Female that uh, comes out of class number two said there is power. Female that comes second there, and I th or respective seconds. I think again, both females that have some power and dimension. The one uh, that, that first class wasn't quite as free whenever we set her in motion. But again, I think we study this division uh, and let it out of the bag in that last class, uh, I think pretty easy for me. The heifers out of class number two are going to be your division champion in reserve. Congratulations to those exhibitors. Congratulations to Sister B Genetics on your division three champion and Cole Cohen on your reserve champion. Now entering the ring is class 119, junior yearling females. Heifers' birth dates range from January 1st to February 28th. 
As we're nearing the end of the show, we'd like to again thank our judge for the open show today, Justin Adcock from Moequa, Illinois. He attended University of Illinois and Lakeland College, where he studied ruminant nutrition and animal science. With his wife and family, em with his family and wife Emily, he helps operate Adcock Land and Livestock, where they predominantly show seven tall cattle. Thank you, Judge Justin, for joining us today. Very easy place to start here in the white heifer, and it just dominates this respective class in terms of structure, build, in terms of look and design and natural power. I think just a very functional, fault-free, uh, no holes type of place to start here in this respective class. Female that's going to come out in two. I like her moderation. I like her depth of side. I like her easiness of flesh. I think with some of that easy easiness of flesh, uh, works to her undoing ever so slightly. A female that's just getting a notch past 12 o'clock in terms of her in terms of her chest floor, in terms of the fat cover that's laid on that. I think that. Actually actually uh, leads to a little bit of her harm as we set this pair in motion there. But I think, again, a female that whenever you melt that uh, chub off of her, the female that you still like her extra body, her extra flesh, and her extra balance that she's got there. A little fresher conditioned here that comes out in three, a female that's a little longer and neater and higher in the way that she's tied, not only through that chest floor, but also there on the top side of her, of her shoulder, a female that comes out really nicely there, balances up really nicely. As we set this one in motion, though, I just don't know that uh, she's as athletic as that female that comes out directly in front of her and not as much natural shape and dimension as that female that comes out directly in front of her. A really athletic one that here that comes out next, a female you appreciate her extra greenness of condition. I wish there was just a little more cow here as we get right in behind this one, a female that just flattens and tapers, but good in terms of her build and design, good in terms of her look. A female that rounds out this particular class, a female that's got some extra muscle, some extra power, a female that's moderate, going to make a nice functional brood cow, just doesn't have the look of those up on top here in this respective class. Congratulations to Cattail Ridge Farm Family Livestock on your reserve champion. 
Third place out of Class 119 goes to Miller Farms. Fourth place to C4 Show Cattle. And fifth place to Giggling Goat Girl. Next into the ring is Class 120 Senior Yearling Females. The birthday date is December 25th of 2021. and fault free and her type and kind definitely could have stood some more competition out here nice cow prospect for that young lady congratulations to your division six champion Bischel family cattle now entering the ring is the champion shorthorn heifer drive While we wait for the remaining cattle, we'd just like to thank our judge, Justin Ad Adcock, one more time. He attended the University of Illinois in Lakeland College, where he studied ruminant nutrition and animal science. With his family and wife, Emily, he helps operate Adcock Land and Livestock, where they predominantly show Semmentals. Once again, let's give Justin one big round of applause. For any ring shots and backdrops, you can visit beautifulmomentsphotography.smugmug.com. Thank you to Courtney. Well, as we wrap up uh, the show here, uh, certainly has been a pleasure to sort through your Shorthorn uh, preview show this afternoon. Uh, it's been a lot, I've enjoyed it. The cattle have been really, really good uh, from from the beginning all the way through the end here. It makes it a lot of fun. Uh, I guess with what well, they left out of my bio is, is uh, I wouldn't call myself a Shorthorn breeder by any stretch because I only own two of them. Um, and but I think uh, it's a it's a breed of cattle that. Uh, uh, if any of you know my wife, uh, one way or another, I was going to have to learn to love if I didn't love them, uh, because they've got a they've got a bunch of them, and so it's it's a breed of cattle that I think has made a tremendous amount of strides as you study these cattle from an outsider's perspective looking in. Uh, they're cattle that are starting to get some more power and some more punch, and kind of getting back to the back to the basics and covering all those things very nicely. And I think this lineup out here re represents that very nicely from our fall down to our senior yearling. I think cattle that have been to them, cattle that have got Got some bone, some foot underneath them. I think a cat, cattle that still offer you a look, a style, and balance as we study and separate these these animals. I think again, I think there's some differences and some give and take. But all in all, I think the lineup again, incredibly, incredibly nice. As I said, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, if nothing else, we accomplished today. Uh, one, we made it rain, which I think is is an awesome thing. And uh, and the beauty of today, and I guess what I always say whenever you do junior shows, if you don't like my opinion, uh, there you can always go to another show next week and get it but uh, I guess you got one earlier this morning if you didn't like his opinion you got 
mine. Uh, if you like his opinion better, that's what makes the world go round. So uh, congratulations to all of our exhibitors. I'll go out uh, and I'll slap your champion in reserve. Awesome set of shorthorn females. You should be proud as breeders and exhibitors here in Wisconsin. Let's give them another nice round of applause. Congratulations to your grand champion, Shorthorn Heifer, Sister B Genetics. And congratulations, serve champion, Purebred Heifer, Cole Cohen. That concludes the 2023 State Wisconsin Shorthorn Pre-Exhibitors for making it out here.